dear student so welcome to my white board program today we have to continue chapter 13 surface area and volume today's class exercise 13.3 so here see here the formula related to 13.3 i have given here volume of cylinder phi r square h वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्फीयर 4 बाय 3 पाई आर क्यू वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोन 1 बाय 3 पाई आर स्क्वायर एच एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ एम्बैकमेंट इक्वल टू पाई आर प्लस आर इनटू आर माइनस आर इनटू एच आउटर रेडियस इक्वल टू इनर रेडियस प्लस थिकनेस दिस फार्मूला वी हैव टू यूज इन दिस एक्सरसाइज लेट अस कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सो गो टू योर टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 A metallic sphere radius 4.2 cm is melted and recast into the shape of cylinder of radius 6 cm. Find the height of cylinder. Okay. So according to question, we have to see what figure we can do here. So as question is given here, a metallic wire. This is the metallic wire in the form of sphere. It is a metallic sphere, and this metallic sphere is melted. it is melted down and then it is recasted into a cylindrical oyar or cylinder so here we have to write two part one is for sphere one is for cylinder so what you will get for sphere let us say the for the sphere r is equal to 4.2 cm this is the sphere r is equal to radius is equal to 4.2 cm then for the cylinder when it is recasted into cylindrical oyar then its r capital r will be 6 cm already given and height is equal to that is given also height uh, given uh, height is asking to find out so the sphere is melted and recasted into cylinder as it is melted and recasted re designed into a cylinder so its volume and its volume will be same when it will be recasted melted and different design will be formed the volume of two body will be equal to each other so that's why we write volume of cylinder is equal to volume of sphere volume of cylinder why i have taken because we have to find out the height of cylinder which value we have to find out that should be taken in the left side and another one right side so volume of cylinder is equal to volume of sphere then we have to put the formula pi r square h equal to 4 by 3 pi r q then we have to put the value pi pi cancel both side we can cancel now r square r square this is the r square this is r square so 6 into 6 r square means r into r 6 into 6 into height we have to find out let it be h equal to 4 by 3 into r q the radius of the that is the sphere 4.2 4.2 4.2 3 times we have to multiply then if we we'll keep h here then these two number will be divided right side so same thing we have to do here then x is equal to after solution we will get 4 into 1.4 into 0.7 into 0.7 for multiplication will come as 2.74 height means centimeter will be there so therefore height of the cylinder which is recasted that value is 2.74 cm question number 1 is over now we have to go to answer to question number 4 this is very important question let us come to the textbook the question question number 4 says that a well of diameter 3 meter is dug 14 meter deep the earth taken out it has been spread evenly all around in the shape of circular ring of width 4 meter to form an embankment find the height of the embankment very good that is a good question and very important also let us see according to question we have to do the figure here what is the question is that we have to dig out a well well means water kua kua jo pani nikalte hai kua mitti ka andar mein wo kua hum log banayenge aur kua ka jo mitti nikalta hai wo mitti ko kua ka charo taraf mein ek covering karenge taki प्रोटेक्शन के लिए हम उसका चारों तरफ में एक वॉल बनाते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड द एम्बैकमेंट दिस पार्ट दिस इज द ग्राउंड सरफेस जहां हम यहां खड़ा होकर पानी निकालते हैं पानी यहां तक ये यहां पानी नहीं होता है ये नॉर्मल होता है 
ग्राउंड का नीचे जाके बहुत नीचे जाके पानी होता है यहाँ तो दिस इज कॉल्ड द एम्बकमेंट व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट ओवर द सरफेस ऑफ द ग्राउंड सो द मिट्टी व्हिच इज वाज टेकन आउट फ्रॉम हियर दैट इज रीमेड ए सर्कुलर रिंग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एज ए वॉल अराउंड द वॉल दैट वी कॉल द एम्बकमेंट सो दिस मड और द अर्थ टेकन आउट फ्रॉम हियर इज यूटिलाइज्ड टू मेक द एम्बकमेंट व्हाट डज इट मीन now the volume of the earth coming from here will be volume of the embankment so that is our main point that's why we have to write two part one is for embankment so we have given already 4 meter in the book inner radius is given 1.5 inner radius means what this is the embankment this wall well radius is equal to inner radius and then up to here it is known as the outer radius which is this black part is known as the width of the embankment so outer radius we have to find out because this is two circle one is well one is embankment circle so they are is between thickness is that that thickness is width so outer radius if inner radius is given then outer radius we can find out by the formula inner radius plus thickness inner radius is 4 plus thickness is 1.5 so 5.5 that means from here to here is capital r that is outer radius and the inner radius is smaller then diameter well we have to go to the well diameter is 3.3 meter then r1 suppose the radius of the well that is called the r1 3 by 2 equal to 1.5 because diameter d given 3 meter so radius to find out we have to divided by 2 so 3 by 2 or we can write 1.5 according to we can put the value both value we can put according to now what i have told you the volume of the earth taken from here is equal to volume of the embankment made there so volume of embankment equal to volume of earth dug out from the well why we have taken the volume of embankment left side because we have to find out what we have to find out now the volume uh, height of the embankment height of embankment we have to find out that's why embankment we have to keep here volume of embankment equal to volume of earth cut out dig out from the well now formula of the volume of embankment i have given there that is pi r plus r into r minus r into h equal to volume of well is volume of cylinder well is a one type of cylinder so pi r square h then put the value so capital r small r capital r small r then h we have to find out keep the h equal to pi r square h pi if it then r square Uh, 1.5 into 1.5 into h is equal to 40. Pi both side we can cut. Pi and pi we can cancel. Then what is left? You write here. Then you solve. This plus this is equal to 7. This minus this is equal to 4. This is h equal to this into this into this. You have to take. Then you solve this one. You will get h is equal to 9 by 8. Or if you divide it, it will be 1.125 meter. Therefore, our question was. What is the height of the embankment? The height of embankment is 1.125 meter. Clear? Then we will come to the question number seven. Come to our to your uh, textbook question number seven. A cylindrical bucket, 32 centimeter high and with radius of base 18 centimeter, is filled with sand. This bucket is emptied on the ground and a conical heap of sand is formed. If the height of the conical heap is 24 cm find the radius and slant height of the hip so let us come to the board that is in class 9 we have gone what is hemisphere what is sphere what is cone what is cylinder what is cuboid everything i have told you so now here it is two figure we have to take what is that one is cylinder one is cone why these two figure are coming according to question what happens question says that ए बैग ऑफ व्हीट और राइस जो भी है तो अगर हम चावल का बस्ता अगर मुंह खोलेंगे अगर जमीन ऊपर में गिरा देंगे तो चावल क्या होगा जमीन का ऊपर में गिरेगा और उसका सेप ऐसे एक होता है ये प्रैक्टिकली होता है अगर देखा नहीं होगा तो चावल बस्ता घर का खोलो और जमीन का ऊपर में आराम से धीरे से गिराओ और देखोगे कौन से पाएगा दैट इज कॉल्ड द कौन सेंड ऑफ सेंड ऑफ हीप ऑफ सेंड और हीप ऑफ सॉइल और हीप ऑफ राइस और हीप ऑफ हुई वट एवर में भी हियर सेंड इज गिवन सो ए बैग ऑफ सेंड इज पुट इन टू द 
uh, opened into the surface, then it was coming in the shape of the, uh, that is this uh, heap of the sand in the form of the cone. So, conical sand. So, that's why we have to write two parts. One is for cylinder and for conical sand. Cylinder and conical. This is cylinder, this is conical sand. This sand present in this cylinder was put into the ground and the design of the sand was like that. So, this is cone. So, for cylinder, capital R, I have taken radius 18 centimeter in the book it is given. Then height 32 centimeter, this is 32 centimeter. For conical sand, the height is called, this is called the height 24 centimeter. This is called the slant height L, we have to find out. This is called the diameter and half of this is radius that we have to also find out. In this question, the sand slant height L we have to find out and the radius R we have to find out. So what same procedure is that if this sand will be put here, then volume of this sand will be equal to volume of this sand. So what is that? The volume of cylinder is equal to volume of conical heap. Now, I have read sand from the cylindrical bucket is emptied on the ground. This sand help takes place, the conical sand. Therefore, according to the question, volume of conical sand heap is equal to volume of cylindrical bucket. So, conical we have taken why this left side? Because question mark is there in the cone. That's why cone part we have to take in the left side. Volume of conical sand heap equal to volume of cylindrical bucket. Formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h equal to pi r square h. So, here we have to take r and r. So, we have to write r1, r2 or small r and capital R. So, that it will be distinguished. We can put the value properly. Otherwise, it will be confused. Then 1 by 3, pi pi you can cancel, then you just uh, find out r square here, everything will go that side, r square is equal to this much coming finally, r is equal to root over, r is equal to 18, 18, 4 will be written as 2 into 2, so 18 into 2, 36 centimeter. So radius of the heap of the sand, conical heap of the sand equal to 36 centimeter, radius is 36 centimeter. Next we will come to find out the slant height of the conical heap. So, slant height for the cone formula is there L is equal to H square plus R square. H square plus R square. So, again the slant height L equal to under root H square plus R square put the value of H and R 24 square plus 30 square, uh, 36 square under root 576 plus 1296 equal to 1872 root over. Then, if we take it is not a perfect square. So that's why some root will be left. So it is coming 12 root 13 centimeter. That is length. In case of slant height, it will be centimeter. In case of radius, it will be centimeter. In case of area, square. In case of volume, cube. In this way, we have to mention the unit. Clear now? Next, we will come to the question number 9. Come to your textbook. The last question in the exercise. A farmer concept uh, connects a pipe internal diameter 20 cm from the canal into a cylindrical tank in our field which is 10 meter in diameter 2 meter deep. If water flows through the pipe at the rate of 3 km per hour, in how much time will the tank be filled? So very simple question it is. It is a practical question. Farmer can do but you cannot do. That is a problem. So let us see. We have to also do like a farmer. So here question says that there is one farmer means what? Kheti wala. Jo kheti karta hai. O kya karta hai? Kernal se ek pipe leke apna jamin mein ek tank banata hai. Aur o pani ko tank mein bharti karna padta hai. To pipe ka baare mein diya hai. Tank ka baare mein diya hai. Abhi bolla hai ki kitna time mein agar pani o pipe mein aayega continuously. To kitna time liye lega ye tank ko pani mein bharti karne ke liye. To time nikalna padega. So that is we have to write two part one is pipe one is tank so pipe is cylindrical pipe ka jo hai cylindrical shape hota hai so pipe cylindrical shape uska diameter diya hai 2 cm we can find out the r d by 2 equal to 20 by 2 is equal to 10 cm and uh, but we have to convert it into the meter because other parameters are in the meter form that's why we have to change this into the meter form so when centimeter will be changed into meter divided by 100, 10 by 100 or 0 0.1 meter, that is the R of the pipe. Then we will come to the tank. 
for the tank diameter is given already 10 cm and the radius so i have taken here capital r here small r capital r is equal to 10 by 2 5 m and height of the tank is given h is equal to 2 m this is already given now we have to find out the speed also given the speed of water pipe mein kitna speed mein pani aa raha hai uska speed of water diya hai that is 3 km per hour as there are meters are there this kilometer per hour we have to convert into meter per second meter per second to how to convert whatever value is given 3 we have to multiply by 50 by 8 so then we will get 50 by 3 then we will get 50 meter per minute that will be minute 50 by 3 means minute so next so here we have to keep in your mind if kilometer per hour we want to change into meter per minute we have to multiply the value with 50 by 3 and what will come that will be meter per minute the speed will be so here area of cross section again this pipe the pipe through which the water is coming this part is known as the area of cross section through which the water is flowing that area we have to find out also so area of cross section it is a circular pipe is a circular body so formula will be pi r square area of the cross section of pipe is equal to pi r square pi r value is given so we have to keep the value in the form of pi 0.01 pi pi value we do not put here then now volume of water is equal to volume of tank because when it will be fill up then this is the volume of the cylindrical tank and the water which is coming here that will be equal to the volume of tank that's why volume of water which is coming that is equal to the volume of the tank cylindrical tank now volume of water how to find out speed of water into cross section area into time kitna speed mein pani aa raha hai कितना एरिया दे के आ रहा है और कितना टाइम तक पानी चल रहा है ये तीनों को इंटू कर देने से वॉल्यूम निकाल पाए तो स्पीड इनटू एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन इनटू टाइम इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ टैंक मींस टैंक इज सिलेंड्रिकल वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज पाई आर स्क्वायर एच पाई आर स्क्वायर एच देन 50 इनटू 0.01 पाई इनटू टाइम सपोज टी टाइम इक्वल टू पाई पर आर स्क्वायर 5 5 2 पाई पाई यू कैन कैंसिल दैट्स व्हाई पाई आई पुट हियर अदरवाइज यू हैव टू गेट अगेन Uh, complex then if we keep t this 50 and 0.1 will be divided here then by solution we will get t is equal to 1 by 0.01 equal to 1 by 0.01 we can write 1 by 100 equal to 100 minute will come because time si unit is uh, time unit is minute because we have kept here minute then 1 100 minute is how much 60 minute is 1 hour so 60 minute is done from here 1 hour what is left 40 minute 40 minute is left so 1 hour 40 minute 100 minute we can write 1 hour 40 minute then therefore the tank will be filled in 1 hour and 40 minutes so this question is also very interesting question so exam point of view also this question this question this question all are important so all the important question i have given here and the question which are left is given you as the assignment if you get problem come to the comment box give the comment and i will answer you i will respond you so till that for the next class goodbye